The Germans know that if they want to be successful on the battlefield in the next conflict, they have to harness the best technology. The ME-262 prototype is powered by two BMW 003 engines. After several manufacturing delays, the engines finally arrive in the hands of the Messerschmitt team. But they are far too heavy for the delicate frame. The jet engine and the rocket-powered engine are cutting-edge technology, but they're also very volatile, they're very sensitive, they're very delicate. Shrapnel, other disturbances can cause them to explode. So this technology is new and it's on the cutting edge, but because of that, it's also a bit of a risk. The development of airplanes in Nazi Germany reflect a larger pattern in technical innovation in Nazi Germany, which was that the Germans would make legitimate leaps in technical innovation, but they often didn't follow that up with operational and technological innovation. They often assumed that those things would follow in due course, and they would focus on making these, these technical leaps and advancements, and didn't necessarily put the operational know-how in place to make the most use of their technical innovations. So things weren't properly tested and could often be an Achilles heel uh, by going to war and putting into practice new technology that hadn't undergone rigorous testing. To compensate for the additional weight, the engines are removed from the root of the plane's wings to pods underneath it. The wings are then swept back towards the tail at an angle of 18 degrees. Until then, I mean, the 1930s, it was always straight planes. If you look at old World War I movies, uh, all the planes were like straight by planes or flat, straight wing planes. And, and the reason is because they were running on piston. With the right engine, the swept wing design could now take Germany's aircrafts faster than any piston mount. 